when 4D Dig got in touch with me to do a showcase of their video enhancement and repair software, I took a look at it and asked them if I could actually do something on the photo repair side of things. They agreed to that, so that's where we are right now. This is Kevin for Pixavert.com. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at 4D Digs photo repair software. We're going to be taking a look at their latest software for fixing photo errors, enhancing photos. That includes upscaling and also there's a colorized feature. Now, all of these features use artificial intelligence. So when you first install this, I'll have a link to where you download it in the description and also a discount code if you decide to purchase it. You can see how it functions uh, before you purchase it. But before you first operate it, when you click on start, it's going to ask you to download the AI model. I've already done that, so I won't be doing that this time. But when you click on there, it will give you an option to repair the photos. If I click on add photos to repair, it'll give me an option to choose the photos to repair. Let's click on that and bring in some photos. So all of these photos have got some kind of nasty thing going on with, with all kinds of horrible glitches. Let's select them all. You can also open up uh, some raw files as well. So if you do photography a lot, you're, you're bound to have had something like this happen at some stage. What the software will try to do, it will try to look at the data to see if it can find the original file and retrieve it. So we've got the inputs here. All of them have got something to do with coffee, or drinks. We've also got a corrupt beach file there. When you click on start repair, it will try to do its thing. And all of these use some type of artificial intelligence for this. We click on view results and these are the results. So you can see it's done a really good job. Just clicking there to see the uh, enlarged image. We've got a bunch of tea images. We've got the coffee beans image, and we've got this image here, the uh, the, the three uh, coffee related items. That's, this is a really nice image. And the beach one, that was originally corrupted with this kind of a glitch at the bottom. That managed to recover it. When you click on export all, it will then export them to your hard drive, and then you can see them alongside the originals. Let's go back. and take a look at the enhance photo quality option. What I'm going to do is to drag the images into this section here. So I've selected four images. I'm just going to drag them and drop them. But before I do that, I'll demonstrate that you've got some samples here that you can use. So we can try this one, for instance. Uh, this is a face uh, which allows us to uh, test the face model. So you've got three AI models for photo enhancement. You've also got a resolution option. This is actually the upscale section. And a lot of the options here have got the option to upscale uh, included. The upscale ones just performs an enhancement. It doesn't upscale at all. It just keeps the image, but makes it better. We can demonstrate that. You've got an accelerate mode, but what we'll do is hit the preview. I'm not And there we are. That looks a lot better. It hasn't upscaled it. It's just improved the image just to bring out some bit of clarity, some, some, some type of clarity. Works best with small images, I find. Let's go ahead and use some images that I created for, for this. So to do that, we just go back and open up again. And I'm going to bring in four images. All of these images were created using artificial intelligence. And sometimes when you do that, for whatever reason, the AI creates a soft looking face whilst the rest of the image can actually look quite good. Uh, actually, I can kind of zoom in so you can see a little bit of what I'm talking about. So with this image, you might just be able to see that the eyes are a little bit soft. The face is a little bit soft. The hair looks fine to me. It actually looks pretty good. Uh, there's more texture around the face, but when uh, when you're using AI to create faces, it 
sometimes makes soft looking faces what we can do is to just enhance it we're not even going to increase the size we're just going to enhance it we'll choose the face model uh we'll use the standard uh not the accelerated mode the accelerated one just uses whatever equipment you've got to speed things up on your pc but this one you can see it was very quick and a bit more and hopefully at this stage you should be able to see it's actually made the face a little bit sharper not ridiculously sharp just enough so that it doesn't look soft anymore and that's exactly what you're looking for uh, this is another one and with this one we can try again it looks fine the image looks fine but sometimes that softness in the face let's choose enhance face and preview and when we zoom in you can see just how much sharper the the detail is let's do that using the general model so the general model is one that you would go to if you didn't have a face or anything else there's a denoise model there as well if you've got a very noisy image i find that this one actually works best with images that are just slightly underexposed so it's increased the size of the image it's now 1024 it's now 2048 so the image has been doubled in size and if i hit the export button it will export the the larger image now with the software you also get the video repair option that has a an option for fixing video uh, errors there's a video enhanced quality option which enhances the uh, the quality of videos there's also a colorize feature all of these use artificial intelligence as well now to download follow the link in the description uh, go to the ai repair section and uh, for d dig photo repair and that will give you the option of purchasing this the code i'm gonna uh, give you in the description will give you a discount use that and you'll get a substantial discount from the purchase price guys i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you find this stuff useful uh and uh, yeah if you are interested in this subscribe for more videos and i will see you in the next video no